So what happens when TSH is high? Maybe you have a lab test that shows you TSH is high and you're wondering, what's the next steps? Do I need to be on thyroid hormone? Is there something wrong with my thyroid? My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to go into what it means when TSH is high and give you some context around it what to think about with this lab test. So as I said, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I'm making these videos to help you connect the dots on your health to go beyond the basics, whether it's a confusing lab test or a symptom or diagnosis. I make these videos because I enjoy helping you get a better understanding of what's going on with your body, with your health. So if you like this kind of information and approach, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. Let's connect the dots on what happens if TSH is high. <laughs> So what we want to look at in this video is what's going on in your body and your brain when you have a high TSH and what it tells you about what your body is needing and potentially accounting for some of the symptoms you may or may not be having. So what happens when your TSH is high is basically your thyroid is getting that signal to produce more thyroid hormone. Yeah. So the TSH is coming from your brain and stimulating the thyroid to make more thyroid hormone. So when that signal is high, you're making, should be making more thyroid hormone. So that should be what's going on. And then that higher T4 feeds back to the brain. The pituitary sees that there's plenty or sufficient amounts of thyroid hormone and the TSH then corrects and goes down. So essentially that T4 or thyroxin is feeding back to the brain to regulate the TSH. And so this is similar to how a thermostat works. The thermostat is set to a certain temperature. And when that thermostat senses that it's too hot or too cold, the heat or the AC will kick in to regulate that temperature based on a set point. So in this case, it's your brain or pituitary that's sensing the amount of T4 floating around in your blood. And when it's low, it kicks in and causes the thyroid to produce more. And when it's high, it kicks in and lowers the output and should then downregulate the amount of thyroid hormone that's being produced and does all that through the TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. So what's going on when the TSH is high? Well, there's two main things that could be happening. Either the brain is not getting the signal that there's plenty of T4 around, even though the thyroid is cranking out a lot of thyroid hormone. And there's a few different reasons for that or the thyroid gland is actually not responding appropriately to that TSH. So what happens when the TSH is high? Well, it depends on where the actual problem is. Is it at the thyroid gland itself or more in the pituitary? If your thyroid hormone is not being produced in sufficient amounts, then generally speaking, you'll be put on a thyroid hormone support either a medication or something that's going to boost the output from the thyroid gland or support the body's production of thyroid hormone. But that's not always the case. Depends on how high that TSH is and what some of the other things are looking like. So it really depends on the overall picture of the thyroid hormone and how some of the other hormones are interacting with the thyroid hormone. So what do we actually mean by this picture or the overall picture? So a couple things are, do you actually have low thyroid hormone symptoms? Do you actually have low thyroid hormone floating around in your blood? It's one thing to have a high TSH, but is your thyroid actually producing enough? Do you have multiple thyroid tests showing that you have high TSH and low thyroid hormone, or is it just one? Are your levels high normal? or actually high? Are your thyroid hormone levels low normal or actually low? These are some of the things to consider when trying to understand what to do with a high TSH and what it actually means in the sense of what's going on in your body. So what is actually considered normal for the TSH and thyroid hormone production? How do you really know when it's time to start thyroid hormone replacement? What tests should you do? And how do you look at those results? That's what we're going to look at in the next video on thyroid testing. All right, that's all I had for this video on what happens if TSH is high. How did I do? Does that help clarify what happens when TSH is high and what's going on in the body? Let me know in the comment section. If you do have follow-up questions, let me know in the comment section as well. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.